Ghana and Africa have also been promoting cultural ties and people-to-people -people exchanges. And Confucius Institutes play an important role in that. It's no different in Namibia, where the institute in the capital is promoting the study of Chinese language and culture. Here's CGTN's Jen Keo. A lesson in Chinese language at the Confucius Institute at the University of Namibia's Language Center. Today's lesson is about the Chinese zodiac, from rat to rooster, dragon to tiger, and for the year 2018, dog. Why and how the different animals represent the Chinese New Year? The institute has 500 students this semester alone. The number has been growing since 2013 when it was established. Uh, 40-year-old Erastas Mwongo is one of the students. A businessman, he's been learning Mandarin for a year now. I would like to expand my knowledge as an entrepreneur where I be able to help my fellow citizens and Africans at large and to know Chinese. Yeah. 20-year-old Lloyd Matthews won this year's Chinese proficiency competition. Learning Mandarin can come with a lot of um, benefits. So when I finish my studies here, I want to use it. I want to use um, the, the certificates that I got from Learning Mandarin to apply for a scholarship and go further my studies in China. To learn Chinese is also a way to learn Chinese culture, Chinese people, and to have a different, make people have a different impression about Chinese people. Maybe some media's report is not the way, like how Chinese people really are like that. Our plan for the Confucius is, is that it should not be just a, a language institute, uh, as far as we are concerned. Language is just a tool, uh, and it has to have more value. And the way we, we have decided to do in cooperation with our partners is to define our Confucius Institute as, uh, as one that would specialize in gemology and tourism. But it's not just the Confucius Institute that's teaching Chinese. Several schools are doing it too. Jin Keo, CGTN, Windhoek, Namibia.